welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name's Helly. I like to play video games for you guys here on YouTube and over here on YouTube. Um, I'm not streaming on Twitch as much anymore. I've now taken up streaming on YouTube here, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, today we're going to be continuing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Very excited. Had so much fun in the last episode. Um, if you found me through your love of Tomb Raider or um, any other reason, I'd really appreciate it if you stuck around. Hit the subscribe button and join my little community. Everyone's lovely here and we'd enjoy having you. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with the video. So we went in here last time. Uh, in the last episode and we completed a tomb. Uh, we're now going this way. <sighs> oh God, there's a lot of noise going off then, that scared me. Doesn't take much, you guys will recognize. I think we can get out that way. I'm just checking for tripwires because they've got me a few times in this game so far. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. Oh god, I'm terrible. Can it climb the tree? Oh god, it can! <laughs> oh no! Oh, Ellen, I'm doing terrible. I'm gonna have to reload this. What? What's it doing? What's it doing? Oh God, I'm trying to listen in the headphones where it is and it's really difficult. What? That should have fired! Is it not firing? Like, I'm letting go of R2 for it to fire the arrow. Oh god. Why isn't it dying? Not that I want it to die. This is a terrible part of the game, but... I, w I really wish that some games would come with a little bit of a warning. Are you and okay? Help me with this. I know that probably doesn't bother a lot of people, but it really, really bothers me. I don't like to see it. I know it's a game, but it happens in real life. Like, those animals are hunted for their fur regularly, and I, I really don't enjoy any part of that. I'm going to go make camp.
I would also like to point out that if it had bitten us that many times on our shoulder and our back, there's no way we'd be sitting up and be totally fine. <laughs> Animal bites are horrendous. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <sighs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. <sighs> hmm. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Mm. That's true. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? Panic, probably. Mm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else. No way. I like this world. Yeah, there's usually sacrifices for stuff like that, it's isn't there? perfect. But everything I love now is in it. They often say that you will always meet your fate on the path you choose to avoid it. So, you know, you can always try and avoid something, but often it is what it is. Oh, cute. Claim her treasure. The adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be brought with trials. Laura. Oh, look at tiny Lara. The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad. Wow, we get to play as little Lara. The castle beckon, taunting. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? There's an A scratched in the bottom, for Amelia. I miss you, Mum. Amelia.
Well, that was a big bird. There's a lot of wildlife in this garden. Deadly accurate, for the most part. Our hero could shoot a fly of the cart at 100 paces. This is a crazy garden. The White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. Throwable objects. Hold L2 to aim and press R2 to throw. Where does this need to be, I wonder? Does it need to be anywhere? Can I just throw it? This is an insane garden. Imagine having this as a kid. Oh, you'd have so much fun. Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. <laughs> that didn't work. Wait, does it actually move? Can't tell if it actually moves or if it's just the camera that moves. This is nice and light-hearted. Because <laughs> the rest of the game is... Sir, I understand these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realise it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief. And bring you two closer. Yeah, it, it. They do say that it's it's better to talk about, you know, reliving the memories and the good times actually helps with grief. What was it, Dad said? Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. I don't agree it with that. It's better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Oh dear. Now for the real oh. treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Sounded a bit angry. Ugh. The King's Guard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. Oh god, I feel like this is a really the bad idea. Tower is taller than she thought. God, Laura, please don't fall as a child. Climbing, looking for another way in. Our hero spies another entrance. This is such a bad idea. Look how high up we are. You silly, silly girl. Shoo! Go on. 
Like, can you imagine doing this? Your parents would be furious. We could Mother die. Confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. What are you gonna do now? <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen. God. Almost there. She recovers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the forbidden tomb. Just go in the main door, Lara. These What's wrong with you? Damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. <sighs> I don't like playing as young Lara anymore. She's so close. She can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Oh my god, we're on the freaking roof. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Oh my lord. At last, she spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Like, what is she even doing this for? Why do I do these stupid things? Yeah, Lara, why? earth is wrong with this child at last she enters the forbidden tomb wow whoa that's crazy you crazy girl night the great bats stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east from her pen she wrote her heart with light unlock her love's release i wonder if the white queen is lonely find the white queen do i have to move them um Thirty north and ninety east. What does that mean? This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum might be what our brave adventurer needs to finally find the lost treasure, the White Queen. She's managed to decipher the ancient text and has found a series of clues. A set of coordinates, a giant bat and a series of game pieces in a line the intrepid Lara will have to figure out what they all mean. The note said 90 degrees east and 30 north. The coordinates might have something to do with the globe. Oh, okay. Smart. Unlock her love's release. It worked. Great. 
I wonder what we have to do with these, though, is what I want to know. This must be a puzzle on its own. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. This is a really insane... This is Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. Need to find the White Queen. Whoa! Oh, this is the bat! Great bats on I see, and now that's going to tell us where to put the two knights with the two red shields, I assume. Yeah. Excellent. The shield reflects the light beam. Uh, let's move this one this way. And this one this way. And then this one. We go in the light. Oh, okay. I just remembered when I altered this, it brought the, the White Queen. ladder down. Now yeah! With light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. Oh. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt! Where's wow! At work! Oh, that's sad. The music box. Oh no! Don't leave me! 
Oh, that's so sad. See, he closed the window, but the window was open there. And we know, spoiler alert, if you've not played the other games, what? that Trinity killed her father. Which is the organisation we're hunting down in this game. So they obviously framed it to look like a suicide. So, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ooh! Now, I will say that does look kind of cool. Not that I, you know, condone any of that kind of stuff, but it looks kind of cool. I will give her that. Um, quiet movement, so reduce noise. Uh, enemies take longer to detect and identify Lara as a threat. Brilliant, that's a great outfit. Um, a skill point. Uh, yes. A lot of them are needing two skill points now. So we might have to start saving them. Can I upgrade any of my weapons? One upgrade available. Um, draw speed. Okay. Cool. Find Kowak Yaku. Um, okay. I love how she just like kicks things over. Pew! What's in here? and skin animals to find resources. Oh. Do I have to? Oh, my controller's vibrating. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Yeah, I think that the vibrating might mean that um, there's a tomb nearby. What's this? There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Got stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about 
follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy. Ooh, are we gonna take them all out? Oh, hold up. I got him. Hold on, you're friendly. Keep your eyes open. Check back there. I'll do it. Ooh, okay. I want this whole area sealed off. Stealthy, stealthy. God, we just blend right into the wall, don't we? There's no one down there. Do I go this way around? God to wonder. Yeah. We know there's a main temple. What we're looking for is. And he's gonna see the dead bodies. Okay. Really wet in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. Oh God. Come on, Edge. If you go left, I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. Guys, I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a. Hey, hey. Okay. Uh. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to disappear a little bit. There we go. Oh god. You've seen Jonah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I can loot people? Right, hold on. Just gotta loot these bodies. Can I get up there? No. Where did he go? Did he go after Jonah? Oh! As if he wouldn't just pull the trigger. Oh, have we got a gun now? Oh, shit. Guns. I hope that's the last of them. That was close. Yeah. New gear required. I don't know. Not exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. Okay. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. Other things? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. Oh God, that's a long way down. After her death, it was more lonely. Uh, use this to select the bow. Hold R2 to do that. I don't know how to make the fire arrows yet. Maybe I can't. Lots of looty, looty, loot. Uh, oh, maybe we can make the fire arrows then. So, uh, holding R2. No.
No, that's just making more normal arrows. R1. That does Ah. Work. Okay. Hold L2 and press R1 to ignite a flammable arrow. Nice. Come on, let's go. Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. All full up. Can't carry any more. Oh, can't do anything with that. I see people down there. La Chosa del Puego. Where it go? Hi. Oh, we're suddenly you clean and free of mud. Stay for the night. How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? Uh, no. Quiet. There were some guys here before looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Oh, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. So, oh. what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? Yes. Yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No, don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello! Tuna might have a new girlfriend! Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Yeah, Jonah. I promised you a day off. Get to know Abby. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. You too. <laughs> oh, cute. Okay. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. If you're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. The storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. Mmm. So, you're not... Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh... Pretty sick. Interesting. So you said you were... I just wanted to earwig, see what they were talking about. Huh. Huh, what? You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, that must be where we can spend our coins then. Merchant, nice. 
Um, secrets revealed. We've been collecting coins, so the base camp discovered. Not this fire, I assume. It's making me want to be hey, on holiday. You want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go. And who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo. But his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> Keep them both open. Uh, is that the taco place? Mission available. Okay. Okay, here is the base camp. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? Five what if the breaks. earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Damage, accuracy, rate of fire, reload speed, ammo capacity. So definitely damage. Um, and accuracy. Oh, we could also have rate of fire though. We could have all three. Nice. There's still an upgrade available for this. Uh, increases draw speed. Yeah, okay, why not? So we've got apply mud as camouflage, remain concealed in mud and vegetation walls. Oh, okay, so we acquired that one free of charge. Okay. Yeah, we, I noticed we could fast travel now as well. So we're going that way, but is this the way to the merchants and stuff? Oh, that wasn't salvage? Weird. Alright, we're heading there. The merchant is around here somewhere. Look at this beautiful pink house! Love it. If I had a little wooden house, I'd have to do something like that too. Oh, the merchant's ages away. Omar, uh -huh. they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's all- Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Is he a Trinity person or not? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No, it's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> The little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. 
Thanks. Mm. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Yeah, well, I ain't scared of nobody. Let's go, Omar. What you got, son? Bullying these people. Ass wipe. So if you saw you. Looking for work? Um. Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Oh, okay. Talk to Marco. Marco! Paolo! Where's the merchant? Not that way. This way. Ooh. Ah, here we go. Are you interested in trading? Yes, I am. Hello. Let me guess. Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I? I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. Ooh, I can buy weapons from him. I've got 4,134 gold pieces. I can buy health. An ammo pouch. I can buy a, a new uh, armor. Provides ability to craft more ammunition. Provides more experience from stealth skills. Ooh. They sound good, but I can't afford them just yet. Wow, you can buy salvage and stuff. That's cool. Um, I don't really know what of this I can sell. Because I must need it all, surely. But yeah, I'm definitely interested in these. Getting more experience from stealth skills. Kills, even. Ooh, a suppressor. That's also very good. I'm always okay. ready to do business. Okay, so that merchant's got some really cool stuff, actually. Right, let's go back to the bar then and deal with this bully. Sorry. Jonah's gonna have to get involved now, isn't he? I'm gonna start a fight. Marco. Anything can happen. Here he is. Or oh, you. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? <sighs> I blew out my knee, so 
Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Okay. Head to the edge of town and deal with the pillagers. Yeah. Oh, the sensitivity on this isn't... isn't funny. Okay, but how do I get to the side of town? Yeah, I can't climb there. Can't get that way. Or that way. Yeah. Oh, sorry. They're forcing our kids to work now. Under here? Aha. All right, let's go. Let's go free Pablo. What is that? Uh, oh my uh, God. Please help me. Oh. Are you okay? They're coming after me. Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww. Get out of here. Oh, my heart. I don't normally like children. Like, at all, but... That was cute. Oh, Christ. That doesn't sound good. Oh, they just killed one. Oh, oh Christ! Okay. What the hell got into it? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother. Always unionization, this and just as that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, so many dead people. Are the fights here even worth it? They are on the black market. True, almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for the oh, shit, I am tired of covering for those Ooh. assholes. Okay, let's stealth kill him when he comes over here. Down. Oh Copy shit. That. We'll find Better look it. around. Yeah. We're taking casualties! Fucking bastards. Oh, they don't I don't know where I am, but Man down! They won't get away with this. Uh There! Oh crap. How do I heal again? I forget. Where did I go? I went up here, didn't I? Brain. This ends now. Ha! Ah, that all you got? Come on. Fuck. Where is? <laughs> Heck right. yeah. Need to get back to the village. Did it?
Gather your things, I go back to the village. Thank you for everything. You are welcome. Horrible people. <laughs> Let's throw some cans around. Nice! We got some good coinage. Miss this. I'm gonna miss this secret. <gasps> Ooh. To me knife. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. Aww. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. And fun fact, it actually can. Um, there is a certain type of uh, surgery that we do in a vet's practice called trepanation, which is what trepanning surgery is. Um, and essentially, it's unpleasant, but you do have to drill holes, obviously, whilst the animal's asleep. Drill holes into the skull uh, and flush uh, the nasal passages out and flush through antibiotics. So if they've got a really severe infection, sort of in the in the nasals, you know, the nostrils, in the throat, things like that, um, sometimes it it does call for a trepanation. Um, very rarely, um, but they can get nasty bacteria in there, known as Aspergillus, which is sort of grows on the lungs and it, it can be fatal. So um it is it is a surgery that can be performed um uh, in modern day um i'm not sure about on humans though fun okay let's go back to the village now then Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is for. Oh. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? I reckon we can climb this tree up. Oh, how do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, what's over here? It's got to be in here, right? Oh, yes! I didn't think that would just be it. Just that, like, one relic. Okay, well, still not really worth it, but we've done it now. Great. 
Let's go. I wonder what Omar's gonna say when he finds out we killed all his men. Defense berries. The music makes me feel like I'm on holiday. Hmm, he's not here. Interesting. Back there, but where is Omar? Pablo told me what you did. I, I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago, when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it as oh. a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. I thought we did tell you our name already. You've not got a good memory, have you? A river hawk. Okay. Help thy neighbor. So is he just taken off then, the bad guy? Must have. Mission complete. Okay, let's go back to the camp and have a look at this new weapon. Powerful pistol that deals high damage. Uh, that one's got a lot more accuracy and rate of fire. But if I do the upgrades on this to increase that. We have quite a lot of these things that upgrade them, so... Oh yeah, we can definitely do the damage, look. Got loads of that. Okay, um... Four upgrades available for this. Better accuracy. Uh, oh, I can't afford any more upgrades for this. So, we've only got two hides left. So do we want reload speed or accuracy? Accuracy, I think. And then maybe let's do the rate of fire for this one. Oh, 
Oh, we can definitely do the reload speed too. And that one, why not? Screw it, let's fully upgrade. Heck yeah! We've got two skill points, okay. Um, it would either be this one, resisting damage from enemies for a short period of time after healing. Or the reaching full draw more quickly. Uh, I think maybe this one. Nice! Okay, Lyra's becoming quite the combats woman. Uh, so I think we'll probably leave the episode there for today. I think that's probably a good place to leave it off. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for today. Um, I had another fun episode playing this game, um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode, watching it as much as I have playing the game. I'd really like you to stick around if you aren't already. Please subscribe to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah, we've got the quarry that we're live streaming on the channel at the moment. So if you like live streams and want to chat with me as the action's happening, um, keep an eye out for live streams appearing on my channel. Uh, hit the little bell to notify you if I upload anything. Um, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.